Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Gemma. Today we're going to go through a yoga practice and this is going to be particularly good for you if you've kind of lost your regularity in your practice lately. So for all of us, things in life happen and maybe it can mean that we don't come to our mat and do our practice for a week or so. And as I'm sure you know, when you stop doing something, even something you love, if you stop doing it for a while, getting back into it can feel a bit challenging. And you can feel like your body isn't feeling its best and you need some motivation to really come back onto your mat and come back into your body. So that's what we're gonna work with today, getting back into your practice if you've taken a break recently. So we're going to start by connecting to our breath with a, a short seated meditation. So finding a comfortable position. Feel free to sit on a cushion or a pillow if you have one close to you. And just resting the hands on the knees and relax the shoulders down away from the ears and close the eyes. And just start to become aware of the weight of your physical body here. Noticing the sensation of your body, the space that it is taken up. And through your sitting bones, your feet connected to the mat or the floor, grounding you down into the earth. Noticing the air, the breeze against your skin. And become aware of any sounds that you may be hearing around you, either close by or in the distance. Notice if there's any smells in the air, if there's any certain taste in your mouth. Using each of the senses as a way to bring yourself into the present moment, to bring yourself onto your mat, ready for your practice today. And just start to observe your breathing, your natural breath here. As you breathe in, follow that inhale all the way to the top. As you breathe out, follow in the exhale completely. Breathing in and out through the nose. Notice if your mind has already started to wander. Thoughts are entering the mind. Or if it feels easy to stay connected with each breath. And connected to the senses. How does it feel to find this space again? in your mind, to slow the thoughts, to focus just on your breathing.
And then set an, an intention for today's practice. What is it that you want to gain from this practice today the most? So if you haven't practiced in a while, you may notice a certain part of your body that is feeling tight. Maybe you want to open up that part of the body a little bit more. Maybe you just want to generally stretch the body or move the energy within the body. Or maybe you found that without your practice it's affecting you mentally. If you're feeling stressed, if your mind is feeling scattered or busy, maybe you just want to find that sense of calm again. Just holding your intention in your mind. We'll start our practice slow today and we'll start to build it up in a fluid, dynamic movement to move the energy, the life force throughout the body. We'll start with some simple neck rolls. You can keep your eyes closed for this if you like. Just dropping your head to one side, allow the ear to fall towards the shoulder. Then bring in the chin to the chest as you rock the head forward and start to rotate in circular motions. And keeping this movement slow. Notice if there is any tension or tightness in the neck. If there is any tension, can you try to release this tension? Maybe just lingering in that area for a little bit. And switch direction so you roll your head the other way. And bringing the head back to center. From here, clasping the hands, turn the palms away from you, or stretch the arms out. Inhale to reach the arms up over your head, but keeping the shoulders relaxed, drawing away from the ears. Keeping the spine straight, feeling the sitting bones grounding into the mat. Let's take three breaths here to open through the shoulders and the chest. Oh, on your exhale, release the hands, taking a twist to the right side so your right fingertips come behind you. Left hand comes to the outside of that right knee. Inhale here, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, using the core muscles to initiate that twist in the spine, maybe bringing your gaze to your back shoulder. Three breaths here, hold in this twist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. On your next inhale, turning back to center, clasping the hands up and overhead once more. Exhale, release, twist to the left, right hand to the outside of that left knee. Inhale, finding length in the spine, drawing up through the crown of the head. Exhale, engage in the core muscles to deepen that twist. Three breaths on this side. Inhale, turning back to center, reaching the arms up again. One more stretch here for the shoulders and the chest. Exhale, allow the arms to fall down by the sides. 
From here, you can rock forward, coming onto your hands and your knees. Finding your tabletop position. And take a few moments here to connect with whatever movement feels good for you. You might want to take some traditional cat-cow movements as you inhale, lifting the tailbone, arching the back, opening the chest to gaze forward. As you exhale, drawing the tailbone down, rounding through the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. And continue with this movement. Let's take any other movement in this position that feels good for your body this morning. Maybe that's doing some circles with the hips, pushing forward or back. And you might find that your body is asking for slow movement or maybe it's asking for faster movement. This is a really good way to intuitively notice how your body is feeling today and what it needs from your practice. And as we go through the practice today, I'll offer variations to make the practice more gentle and also to make it more challenging. So you can really honor where you are right now. Making your way back to stillness in tabletop. Spread in the fingers, root in the hands into the mat. You can tuck your toes under and lift the hips, making your way into your first downward facing dog. Take a moment here to paddle out the legs, bend one knee, straighten the other leg and then switch. Checking in with how the hamstrings and the calves are feeling. And this initial part of the practice, this warm up, is a really good way to check in individually with each part of the body. To notice where there is any tension or tightness, where you need a bit of attention. Coming to find some stillness in this shape. Feel free to keep a slight bend in the knees, especially if your hamstrings are feeling tight. Focus more on straightening through the arms and the spine rather than the legs. If you feel like your spine is rounding, bend the knees some more. Lifting the hips up towards the sky. From here, slowly start to tiptoe your feet in towards your hands to the top of the mat. Or well, you'll come to find Uttanasana standing forward fold. Keep the knees soft and just let yourself hang here. Relax the arms and the head, the shoulders. Maybe swinging gently from side to side. Maybe pedaling out the legs in this position, bending one knee, straightening the other. Wiggling the hips, whatever feels good. Bringing the awareness into your feet, grounding the feet into the earth, into the mat. With your knees soft, start to roll up through the spine here, keeping your head down, your arms by your side. Coming all the way up to standing to your Tadasana. Release the arms by the sides, palms facing forward. Keeping that connection to your feet grounding into the mat. Noticing the breeze, the air against your skin, your fingertips. Noticing the breath in your belly and your chest.
And from here, bend in the arms, bend in the elbows, bring the palms to face forward so you're in cactus arms. Ground the feet into the mat on an inhale, open the chest up to the sky, bringing the elbows back, looking up. Exhale, start to round through the spine as you bring the chin into the chest, elbows can come to touch, like standing cat cow movements. Inhaling, opening the chest. Exhaling, folding inwards. As you inhale, opening up to the sky. Exhale, coming back into yourself. One more round. And then release and reach the arms up to the sky this time. Inhaling here. Exhale, release the right hand, stretching over to the right side. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Exhale, release the left, stretching to the left. Moving with the breath here. Inhale to come up and exhale to stretch. One more time each side. Inhale, reaching the arms back up. Bring the palms to touch, gazing up to your thumbs. Exhale, soften the knees and folding forwards here as you follow your gaze all the way down to the mat. From here, inhale, finding a halfway lift, things sits either to your shins or the mat, gazing straight ahead. Exhale, bend the knees to plant the hands and step all the way in to a plank position with the shoulders stacking over your wrists. Keep the core engaged here, not letting the hips drop down to the mat. Drawing the heels to the back of the mat, drawing the crown of the head forward, connecting back to that strength in your physical body. One more breath here. And exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. So you, you might want to drop the knees first or you can lower in one straight line and come all the way down to so releasing your belly and your chest. Bringing the hands to the top corners of the mat, coming onto your fingertips. We're gonna work a bit with the spine, reflection and extension here, doing some rolling cobra variations. If you have any issues in your lower back, bring your feet further away from each other. So on your inhale, push the hip bones down into the mat and start to rise up. Stay in low for the first one. Exhale to release. Two more of these. Inhale to rise. Exhale to lower. One more time. Exhale, coming all the way back down. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and push into a child's pose, knees together, big toes touching, folding over the thighs. Relax the forearms, relax the forehead. Allow when your spine to you, come into this natural flexion after the extension of the spine. Slowly making your way back up, coming to your downward facing dog. From here we'll start to create some more heat in the body, warming up the body further with what's called a water wheel. On an inhale, we're gonna lift your heels, keeping your spine rounded, rocking forward into a plank position. Once you arrive in plank, you straighten the back and then bend the knees, hover the knees off the mat, press into the hands to draw your hips back and up to downward dog. So this should be a continuous movement. Inhale, rocking forward to plank. Exhale, bend the knees, push the hips back and up to downward dog. So finding your own flow here. And the movement doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You wanna be moving in a way that feels good in your body should feel quite strong, especially in the shoulders and the upper body. And if you like, you can reverse that movement. 
Going the other way, bend the knees, rock the plank. Exhale to round the spine, drawing back to downward dog. A few more rounds here. And then returning to your downward facing dog. Inhale, coming onto your toes. Bend the knees, look in between your hands, either step, walk, or maybe hop forward. Finding your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching up. Arms come out to the sides. Adha Hastasana, upward hands. Exhale, draw the hands through the midline. Release the hands by the sides. Okay, let's keep flowing, moving the prana, the life force. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward to Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, step in, or maybe you want to hop back to your plank. Inhale here. On your exhale, drop the knees, chin or chest, or lower through Chaturanga if you're ready. Inhale to your cobra, or come to upward dog, lifting the knees, straightening the arms. Draw the shoulders back here. Exhale, rolling over the toes. Downward facing dog, five breaths. Using each of these pauses in downward dog or Tadasana to return back to your breathing. Bringing yourself back into the present moment each time. On an inhale, lift in the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, step, walk or hop. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Palms come to touch over the head. Exhale, hands come down. Release. One more round. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, gaze forward, halfway lift, straight back, straight legs. Exhale, step or hop back to plank. Lower even knees, chest, chin, or taking a chaturanga, hug the elbows in as you lower the body in one line before you reach the mat, press into the hands, finding your back bend here, opening the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Another five breaths here. Following your inhale, following your exhale. Inhale, come onto the toes, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, step, walk or hop. Halfway lift here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Bring the palm to touch. Exhale, draw the hands through the midline. Release the hands by the sides. Close the eyes. Taking three breaths here. Come back to your intention for today. On your next inhale, reaching the arms all the way up, Adha Hastasana. Exhale, folding forwards. And this time on your inhale, step your right foot back. Now dropping that right knee to the mat, find yourself in a kneeling lunge. And start to open through the hips a bit here. So with the fingertips either side of that front foot, start to do some circles with that knee, like you're drawing a circle with the knee. And switch direction, go the other way. Mm 
Come back to center. Inhale, open the chest, gaze forwards. Exhale, draw your hips back as you straighten through that front leg, stretching through this left leg. Inhale, re-bend the knee, open the chest. Exhale, draw the hips back. Two half splits, one more time. Inhaling. Exhaling. Rebend the knee, plant the hands, lift your back knee, step into your plank, taking your flow here, your choice of flow, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, returning back to that kneeling lunge. Exhale, step your right foot in, forward fold. Inhale, reach all the way up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands come to heart centre. Let's go straight into the other side. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, this time step in your left foot back. So you're on kneeling lunge on the other side. So that's in with the hip circles with this side. Rotating the knee in a circular motion. And switch in the direction. Come back to centre, open the chest, take an inhale here. Exhale, draw in the hips back, finding that half splits. Folding over that front leg. Inhale, we bend the knee, open in the chest. Exhale to your half splits. One more time. Inhale, open in the chest. Exhale, fold in. And then re bend in the knee again, planting the hands either side of the foot, lift your back knee, step to your plank, taking your flow. Feel free to skip the flows if you want a more gentle practice. You can always come into downward dog and just hold there for a few breaths instead. From your downward facing dog, inhale, step in your right foot forward. Exhale, step in the left foot in, forward fold. Inhale, reach all the way up, palms come to touch overhead. Exhale, draw the hands down. Release the hands, finding stillness once again. Three more breaths here. Continue to move through some standing sequences. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up. Maybe open in the chest a little further, going into a deeper back bend, only if it feels okay in your spine. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, looking forwards. Exhale, step or hop back to your plank. Lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reaching that right leg up to a three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, draw the knee forward, planting the foot in between the hands. Now keeping your back heel lifted on the inhale, rise up to a high crescent lunge. You're really grounding this front foot into the mat. And keeping your back leg active so the back leg is straight, you're drawing the heel down. Reach the arms up. See if you can bring the upper arms in line with the ears. Now fixing your gaze on a point straight ahead. Maybe you want to pulse slightly up and down here as you inhale. Moving up slightly as you exhale, deepening that hip stretch. It'll be really subtle movement. And bringing the palms together over your head, clasping your hands so you're in pistol hands, so all of your fingers interlaced apart from your index and your thumb. 
On an inhale, open the chest here, finding a back bend. On your exhale, keep the hands clasped and start to fold over this front knee. Keeping the stability, the strength in your legs. Inhale, reaching up, opening the chest. Exhale, to fold. One more time, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, folding forwards. This time on your inhale, reach the arms up, release the grip of the hands. Exhale, open your hips to the side. Find yourself in your warrior two. Reposition the feet if you need. Bend your front knee so it's stacked over that ankle. Back leg is straight. Bring your gaze to your front fingertips, to your right fingertips. Let's add a little bit of movement in here. On an inhale, straighten your front knee. Bring the palms to touch over your head. Exhale, re-bend the knee and create a circle with the hands, bringing the palms to touch. Inhale, straighten the leg, palms over the head. Exhale, re-bend the knee. Do this once more time. And on your next inhale, return back to your warrior two. Take three breaths here, hold in stillness, connecting back to your inner warrior, finding that strength within you. That focus, that determination, that courage. On your next inhale, flip your front palm, reach the arm up and over, reverse warrior. Gaze up to your top arm. Exhale, finding your side angle pose, forearms of thigh as the left arm comes up and over, open the chest to the sky. Inhale, all the way back, reverse warrior. Exhale. And do this one more time. We movements in how to reverse. Exhale. So your side angle pose. Now stay in here. Maybe you're going to bring the fingertips to the mat. If you're working with your bind, you can wrap that top arm around your back in the half bind. Maybe going for the full bind, bringing your right arm underneath that leg. See if you can find a clasp. And if you can't find a class, you could just grab onto your clothes instead. And then work on drawing that top shoulder back so your chest stays open here. Three more breaths here. Keep the back leg active, making sure that you're grounding that back foot into the mat. Okay, release, inhale, come all the way back to reverse warrior. Stretch through that right side of the body once more. Exhale, windmill the hands to the mat. And we're gonna move into a side plank. So rolling onto the outside of that left foot, either taking a half side plank with the right foot on the mat or stack the feet here. Lift the hips, gauge the core. Either your right hand will be on your hip or you can reach the arm up. Take any variation with this. If you want to float that top leg, maybe take a tree pose variation or any other variation you're playing with in your practice. One more breath here. Exhale, rock to your plank. Lower knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Taking five breaths here before we take that on the other side. Or taking a child's pose if you need a more gentle movement. One more breath here. On your inhale, reaching your left leg up to a three-legged duck. 
Exhale to bend the knee, draw the knee forward, plant the foot in between the hands. Come up on an inhale to find that high lunge. Stabilizing the legs by spreading the weight evenly between both legs, both feet. Maybe pulsing slightly up and down again here. Can be a nice way to release the hips. And bringing the palms together, finding that pistol grip again. Once you've got the balance and the stability, take an inhale to open the chest to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, keep that back leg engaged. Fold over the front knee. Two more like these, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, fold in. On your next inhale, come up, release the grip. Exhale, open the arms, open the hips by turning that back foot to 90 degrees for warrior two on this side. Finding your alignment, taking any adjustments you need here. Fixing your gaze to your front hand. Inhale to straighten the leg, bring the palms to touch overhead. Exhale, re-bend the knee, bring the palms to touch below. Inhale in. Exhale in, drawing that circle like you're drawing a sun in front of you. One more time. Inhale, come back to your warrior two, holding stillness here, free breaths. Staying connected to your breathing, staying in the present moment. On your next inhale, flip the palm, reach the arm up and over, reverse warrior, looking up to the sky. Exhale, find your side angle pose, forearm to thigh, right arm comes up and over. Moving between these two movements, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, to side angle. One more time, inhale. And exhale, come back to side angle, we'll hold it here, so feel free to play around with your variations, fingertips to the mat, maybe the half bind, maybe go in again for the full bind. And if you struggled with it on the other side, try it on this side. Sometimes one side feels easier. Keep the chest opening towards the sky. Releasing the bind if you're there. On your next inhale, take one more reverse warrior to stretch through the left side of the body. Exhale, windmill the hands to frame that front foot. Coming into your side plank, so either half side plank if you did it on the other side, or the full variation. Taking whichever variation you took on the other side, either floating the leg, tree pose, or anything else. And then release, rock into your plank, taking your flow here. Coming into your downward facing dog. Now from downward dog, dropping the knees, taking a child's pose here. Fold over the thighs, release the forearms, release the forehead. Taking three deep breaths here. Notice how your breath is feeling now with me through our standing sequences. If it's become more rapid or uneven, can you rebalance the breath? And 
when you're ready. Making your way back to downward facing dog. From your downward dog, come onto your toes, lifting the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward. This time on your exhale, you're gonna either walk or hop your feet to the outside of the hands. So you come into Malasana frog pose. So bring in the sitting bones down towards the mat. And make sure that your spine stays straight here. So the crown of the head should be reaching up and you shouldn't be hunching forward. You can either keep your fingertips on the mat for the stability if you need, or bring the palms together to heart center. Take three breaths here. Close the eyes, connect back to your intention. Now, depending on what you need from your practice today, maybe you're going to stay here opening through the hips. Maybe if you want something gentle, you can release and come into Uttanasana. If you want to take an extra challenge here to connect back to your strength and your courage, you can take an arm balance, crow pose. If you're going for crow pose, you can place your hands on the mat and then walk the feet together. So you want to start with the heels touching and the feet close. You're gonna lift the hips up to bring the knees between the elbows and the shoulders. And maybe you're just gonna play first of all with rocking the weight forward to get used to how it feels, bringing more weight into the upper arms. You might wanna play around with floating one foot up, releasing and then floating the other. And you might be ready to take flight today, floating both feet off the mat, toes come to touch, Keep your gaze forward so you want to look ahead instead of down. So playing around with this balance. And when you're ready, release out of it. And we're going to come into a ragdoll, so lifting the hips. You can take hold of opposite elbows, soften the knees, and here just swing side to side, releasing any tension there in the hips, in the quads. Okay, from here, release the hands. Option to step back to downward dog or maybe to step back to plank, taking one last flow, completely up to you. And we'll come to meet in downward dog. From here, on an inhale, reach your right leg up to a three-legged dog. And now we're gonna open the hip here. So you can bend the knee, bringing the foot towards the buttocks. Keep rooting that right hand into the mat for support. Maybe you bring your gaze to your right armpit. Now you can either hold here or you can flip the dog if you're playing with that in your practice. Where you'll release the right foot down to the mat, open the chest up to the sky, bringing that right hand behind you to the top of the mat. Lifting the hips, lifting the chest, and then release back. And you're going to step, we're going to bring the right knee in, coming into pigeon, so placing the knee behind that right wrist. You can walk the toes to the opposite side of the mat to find your pigeon pose. Walking your back toes further to the back of the mat to bring this right hip closer down to the earth. Make sure that your hips are equal here so you're not falling to one side. When you're ready, exhale, coming down onto the forearms and release the forehead. I'm going to take 10 breaths here, holding this hip opener. And observing how it feels in this right hip.
And if you do notice any tension arising here, use your breath, use each exhale to breathe into this part of the body. Three more breaths here. Slowly lifting the head, not to come up onto the hands. Looking the hands in. You can tuck your back toe under. You might come to a tabletop, a downward dog, or straight to child's pose. Whichever feels best for you after holding that posture. Take any movement you might need. And then if you're not already in downward dog, making your way there to go through the other side. On an inhale, reach your left leg up to the three-legged dog. Exhale to open the hip here, bending the knee, bringing the foot to the buttocks. Either staying here or flipping your dog, coming into your wild thing on this side. Release the left foot down. Reach the left arm up and over as you open the chest to the sky. Breathing into the heart center. Flipping your dog back. And bringing that left knee behind the left wrist. Foot comes to the other side of the mat. Walk your back toes towards the back of the mat, lowering that left hip. With equal hips, exhale to lower yourself down to your pigeon pose on this side. Again, observing how it feels physically in that left hip. Notice also how it feels emotionally as you hold a deep hip opener like this. Sometimes holding these type of deep hip opening postures can bring up or resurface certain emotions. Sometimes they can serve as a nice release for stuck emotional energy. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, lifting the head, walking the hands into the body. Finding your counter pose again, whichever that was on the last side, releasing any tension. And when you're ready, drop to your knees, come into 
a kneeling position here. We're going to take one more back bend. We're going to take camel pose. So if you have any lower back issues or you know that you don't have a strong back bend, stay with your, the first variation today, which is with the hands supporting the lower back, fingers facing down. Then with the support, you'll just control how deep the back bend goes. So you'll just start to lean back, pushing the hips forward until you find that point where it feels enough. And then just stay here for five breaths. If you want to take it deeper, you can either have the toes tucked under or the feet relaxed. Inhale, reach one arm up and then release the fingertips to touch the heel. Exhale with the other hand. So your fingertips are touching the backs of your heels. Push the hips forward. You can drop the head behind you. If it feels uncomfortable for the neck, keep your gaze forward instead. Bring your awareness to your chest, your heart center. So come out, bringing your hands on your lower back for support. Bring your gaze forward, slowly, slowly. Make your way back up. Drop into your heels. Bring the knees together and then just folding over your thighs for that counter pose releasing the arms releasing the forehead allowing the chest to fold over the thighs and soften all of the muscles in the lower back around the spine Three more breaths here. Slowly, we're gonna transition into a prone position, coming onto your belly. So you can lift your hips, rock yourself forward, and then lower all the way down onto your belly, into your chest. We're gonna take a shoulder stretch in this position. So you can reach your right arm out to the side with the palm facing down and start to roll onto that right shoulder. So you can use your left hand pressing into the mat to help you roll onto the shoulder. You can lift your left foot, either have the knee bent, place the foot behind you, or you can straighten the leg, whichever feels best. Relax the head here, take five breaths. This is a great stretch for opening through the shoulders in a way that we don't normally get into. And then release, come back onto your belly. Reaching the left arm out to the side this time. Press into the right hand to roll onto that left shoulder, bringing that right foot behind you with the knee bent or the leg straight. Five breaths on this side. Slowly release, come back onto your belly. 
And for he from here, we're going to transition onto our back. So you can simply just roll over, come in onto your back. And then you can bring the knees into the chest, hugging the knees towards you. Give yourself a squeeze, roll gently side to side, massing, massaging the lower back into the mat. Reaching both arms out to the side, palms facing up, dropping the knees to the right side for your recline twist. Turn your gaze to your left hand. If you want to deepen the twist, place the right hand on the top thigh. Just that extra weight going to deepen the twist in the spine a little bit more. Five breaths here. Bringing the knees back up to centre, dropping the knees over to the other side as you turn your gaze to the right hand this time. Again, you can place that left hand on the top thigh. Five breaths here. Bringing the knees back up to center, hug the knees into the chest once more. Take any last minute movement that you need here, whether you want to stretch the hips one last time with a happy baby or take a full body stretch, any other movement you need. Well, when you're ready, Release the legs along the mat, finding your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Let the toes turn out to the sides. Relax the arms by your sides with the palms facing up. Close your eyes. Allow the weight of your head to sink down into the mat. Allow your shoulders to completely relax and soften towards the earth. Relaxing all of the muscles in the arms, the wrists, the hands and the fingers. Relaxing the muscles around the ribs and the spine. Softening the muscles around the hip joints. And then completely relaxing the legs, the ankles, the feet and the toes.
slowly start to deepen your breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Rock the head side to side. And taking a full body stretch, stretching your arms over your head, stretching your legs away from you. And bending the knees into the chest, giving yourself one last hug. Rolling over to one side. And then in your own time, making your way back to a seated position. With the eyes remaining closed. And just take a moment here to notice how you're feeling physically, mentally, and emotionally. Noticing how it feels to get back into your yoga practice. The effects that this practice has had on you today. And in your life so far. hands together to heart center and offer gratitude to yourself for making this decision to come back onto your mat today, for taking this time out of your day to nourish your body and your mind. Bowing the head to the hands. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining and watching the video today. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel as we'll be posting new videos every day. Thank you.